Ten Boxing TV, here we are with Robert Garcia. What's your reaction, man? Bam Rodriguez stops Rungvisai in dramatic fashion. You know, uh, Bam is a, you know, he's a special kid, man. And we knew it since, since we picked him up from the amateurs, turned him pro. We knew it was going to be special. I've always said it, and uh, he showed it uh, today, you know, beating somebody that's never been stopped and, you know, that actually had some really good wins, knockout against you, but I think, uh, you know, it was a dangerous fight, but we knew what he could do. Did you see the adjustments that he was making? It seemed like it was a tough fight the first few rounds, but then after that, it just seemed like the speed and the angles, it just seemed like the speed was just, speed kills, and it just seemed like Bam just had too much speed for Rungo Sai. Rungo Sai is a very strong fighter, so we always told him to be smart, to fight smart and fight, fight carefully, in and out, angles, and he listened to everything we were told, you know, and then he gets a chance to hurt him, so he goes for the finish, you know. Uh, but Rungo Sai was always going to be dangerous, man. He's a very dangerous opponent, so we always we always reminded him, be smart, keep that, keep that angles, don't stand and trade, because, you know, one punch could end the fight. Exactly. Did you, did you see that after the fifth round, he was wearing down? And then it just yeah, seemed like Bam was that, landing whatever he wanted. But I was still, I was still keep reminding him to just keep fighting smart. Because like I told you, uh, a fighter with power has a chance. It never goes the power. In the, last, in the last second of the fight, he always has a chance. So, so that's what we always remind him: be smart. Because guys with power, you know, you can you can win 11 rounds, and then in one punch you could end the fight. So we always remind him to be careful, to fight smart. Now, a lot of guys have had really good performances, like Devin Haney, Shakur, Peter Biff. I mean, what kind of performance does this, is this, does this trump all those performances? Because this was, it was dramatic, honestly, it was crazy. Honestly, I do think so, because it wasn't just a, a, a good performance, but it was also a, a sensational finish. You know, uh, other guys have had great performances, but, you know, not, a, not as spectacular as this. You know, this was something special. 55 pro fights, never been stopped. Exactly. I mean, I, I mean, I'm a big Bam fan myself, but I felt it was gonna go to the, it was gonna go the distance. And That's what everybody believed, but you know, uh, me, and my brother Mike, and my, uh, my brother Mike, and and, and uh, you know, my guys in the gym, we, you know, we, you know, we knew it was gonna be a dangerous fight, and and, uh, and but we know what Bam's about. We said eight or nine rounds is enough. He's gonna, he's gonna stop him. He's gonna, he's gonna put a beating on him so bad that eight or nine rounds, the fight's gonna step. And, how how happy were you when the stoppage happened, man? I saw you and you and Bam, man. Y'all, I mean, that was just pure. No, that was so wholesome, man. Y'all was just pure kid, joy. When you have a kid from the amateurs to, to his pro debut to become world champion, that's the best feeling ever, man. You know, when you get other fighters, you know. Now I'm, you know, I'm, I'm traveling to, to to London to continue training Anthony Joshua or guys that come to the gym when they already superstars well it's great to win titles and it's great to to to, to be able to do my job and, and prove what i can do as a trainer but there's no feeling like when you get a kid from from the amateur to pro debut to uh, to become world champion it's literally dreams come true right definitely definitely hard work pays off man How